Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL Interview in 50 Question series, where we are trying to learn hands on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So, we are already done with the select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, as well as sorting and grouping. We are currently working on advanced select and joins, then we'll be moving to subqueries, and finally ending with advanced string functions, regex, and clauses. Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this question called primary department for each employee and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 31st question of this series primary department for each employee and if you look at the company this question has been asked in so this has been asked in facebook kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called employee with three different columns employee id and department id both of them having data type integers and a third column is primary flag which is a variable character the combined columns employee id and department id is the primary key for this table employee id is the id of the employee department id is the id of the department to which the employee belongs and primary flag is an enum category of type yes or no so if a flag is y the department is the primary department for this employee if it is n the department is not the primary department employees can belong to multiple departments when the employee joins other departments they need to decide which department is their primary department note that when an employee belongs to only one department their primary column is n we are asked to write a solution to report all the employees with their primary department for employees who belong to one department report their only department order of the result does not matter okay let's go through this example and see what should be in our output so here we have a list of various employees their department ids and their primary flag so here after reading the question we learned of two conditions firstly if an employee belongs to only one department that becomes their primary department if an employee belongs to more than one department then we need to look at the primary flag whether it is yes or no so for example for employee id 1 only one department so that is their primary department for employee id 2 two different departments and y is with department id 1 so 2 1 should be in our output for employee id 3 only one department so this should be in our output and employee id 4 three different departments and y is in department id 3 so that is what we should have so 1 1 2 1 3 3 and 4 3 is what should we have in our output this question would have been very easy if this line would not have been written here so here it says if an employee belongs to only one department their primary column is n so this is the way the table stores data had it been that if this table stores wherever your primary flag is equal to y that is your primary department then this question is very easy all you have to do is from this table called employee wherever your primary flag is y return the employee id and department id but here that is not the case let me give you an example so in today's world there are people who have one phone number and there are people who have multiple phone numbers i have only one phone number and someone asked me what is the primary number that i should call you since i only have one number that is my primary number or the best number you can call contact me but there is a person who has let's say five different numbers the person can specify okay this is my home number this is my office number etc similarly here since you are belonging to one department only that becomes your primary by definition but if you have more than one department then you need to select okay this is my primary flag knowing the count of the departments every employee is enrolled in is very important so let's switch to excel and try to develop a logic so we learned that step one which is very important is count of departments so count of departments per employee that is should our main concern how can we get that so from this table called employee if we group by the employee id and count the department ids that will give us the count of department so if i do from this table called employee if I group by the employee ID and then return the employee ID and count the department ID, count the department ID, let me alias this as number of department and let me go ahead and run this and see what do we have in our output. So if we look at our output, we have for every employee, the number of department they are enrolled into. So after grouping by, let me, you know, copy paste this in our Excel so that it's easier for us to view. So this is the result of the group by. So now for every employee ID, we know the number of departments. What do we need to do is we should for every employee ID, try to get this number of departments attached to here. 
because based on that we need to perform a filter because from these values we are only required to keep the primary departments that is defined on two definitions if there is one department a employee is enrolled in that is your primary department if the employee is enrolled in more than one department so you need the primary flag y so to do that we need the number of department columns attached so basically we can perform a join so let's call this group by thing as table t so what we can do is let's put this as entire and treat this in thing as a table so let's call this as table t and now what we are doing is from the table so from the table called employee alias this as let's say e let me left join this entire table so let me just drag it down so this entire table t on on e dot employee id is equal to t dot employee id and let me keep every column from the employee table so e dot asterisk and then let me just keep the number of department columns so t dot number of department let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if we look at it for every employee department and primary flag we also know that the number of departments they're enrolled into so we see that okay one is only enrolled in one department then employee id2 is enrolled in two different departments etc so if we go ahead and try to populate it here so here we will be having number of department one only enrolled in one two is enrolled in two and then three is enrolled in one and then four is enrolled in three okay now once we have this then what do we need to do is we need to perform a filter filter row by row when your number of department is equal to one simply return the employee id and department id but if your number of department is greater than one then you look at the primary flag so just look at it so obviously number of department is one so we need this these two so let me just highlight this okay so this is one now for employee id 2 we have number of departments greater than one and primary flag is y for this row so this is what we need in our output similarly for three only one so this is what we need in our output and finally for employee id 4 three different but y is in this row so this is what we return in our output so yeah, these are the four rows that will be in our output so what we can do is we have these values and then we need to keep only those rows where firstly check that okay t dot num t dot number of department is equal to one so either you check this one or you need to check the two things firstly if the number of department is greater than one in that condition you need to make sure that you also check the primary flag primary flag is from the employee table so primary flag is equal to y so in these two cases you need to return the e dot employee id and e dot department id okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay let me just drag it above so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it if it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes it is an easy question but kind of lengthy and so that is why we need to develop a logic first the first thing that we did was to perform a filtering in this case firstly we needed to add an additional column called number of departments because based on that only we can filter because there are two conditions that we need to look at when the number of department is equal to one that condition is different and if it is greater than one we need to look at ad additional flag and that is when we get our output so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video